So as we all know, there was a huge event that happened uh, just the week before last. We had a, a an election here. And I think many of us had a certain outcome that we wanted to see. And that outcome for many of us didn't show up how we wanted it to. So for me personally, how that showed up, I remember on uh, election night, I was going to tune in to the election and watch it all play out. I got about 15 minutes into it and I'm like, nah, nah. And for whatever reason, I had the impulse to just go into meditation and prayer, stuck my headphones on, listened to some music, and allowed myself to come into orientation with the truth of being. And I got a message in that, and that was to bring my voice, to shine the light. That was my inspiration. So what I decided to do, I don't really get on social media much <laughs> because it is what it is, right? It, it's full of a lot of different things. It's full of a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of that out there. There's also a lot of other things. But what I, I really came to, what I was being moved to do was to speak truth. The truth is not... Uh, Democratic or Republican, the truth is not uh, uh, anything of human design. It is the truth for all of us. And when we hear truth, regardless of our state of consciousness, there's something in us that moves. This is super important right now. Letting there be light, letting the light that we are shine through in the ways that we are comfortable with. Um, and the ways that we're uncomfortable with, right? So for me, like using my voice in that way um, is is comfortable. But at the same time, uh, I was then given another opportunity this week to speak to something that was uncomfortable, to give someone insight, to speak the truth of what I saw that might be going on in their experience even though it was delivered from my perspective in, in a way of love, in sometimes in that wounded state, a person can see it as a personal attack, right? They can kind of go off the rails. So here I was working with this and I'm going to just be honest, you know, when someone's like coming at you and they're judging and it feels like an attack, there is a moment where there, where you kind of want to jump back at it, right? You want to just like give them the truth now, <laughs> right? That doesn't really work. And and what and so the the movement that I you know again I turned and and like what what do I need to do? And I had to look within. I had to do the forgiveness. I had to come to a place of grace. I had to set a boundary. After you know, time and time and time again, them coming at me, and it's just like you know what, I'm out. I declare the truth of you. You are divine. You're beautiful. And I want the best for you. May you find a way to turn. I'm not going to play this anymore, but I love you and, and, and I want the best for you. And then release it, right? And I think in so many ways, we are called to do this even more now. Do you guys feel that? Do you feel it? Like this, like... There's so much working in the world and like the light that's in us, the light that's in this community, the light that we are is asking us to shine brighter, louder, quieter, bigger, more in a humble way and in a powerful way. So in, in the letting the light shine for myself, what I have really come to in this in this moment is this is a call for me. I'll just say how it means to me is to go deeper in my orientation and let what wants to come through, let it, let it, surrender to it, allow it, and be it. 